Determine if the following pair of statements are equivalent. It's helpful to first write the statements in symbolic form. The two statements are, if you are hungry, then you will eat, and if you eat, then you are hungry. And they're giving us a hint that maybe it would be helpful to write them in symbolic form first, so I'll do that. If I think of you are hungry as P and you will eat as Q, then that if-then statement, of course, is an implication, and we could write that as P implies Q. Now, if I look down at the second statement, it says you eat. Well, you eat and you will eat are the same thing. So those are both essentially statement Q, and you are hungry is repeated in both cases. So the first statement is P implies Q. The second statement is Q implies P. Now to prove statements are equivalent, you can just do the truth table for both and show that they come out exactly the same. But I want to use something else that we learned to do it another way. We learned earlier that two statements of the form P implies Q, if they're both implications, they're logically equivalent if and only if one of them is the contrapositive of the other. And if we use that piece of knowledge, we can avoid the truth table route. So I'm going to do it that way. Remember, the contrapositive of the statement P implies Q, you switch and negate. So the contrapositive of P implies Q is not Q implies not P. Now it's clear that the second statement is not the contrapositive of the first statement. Because if it were, it would be not Q implies not P. This is not the contrapositive. This second statement then is by is certainly not the contrapositive of the first statement. So they're not contrapositive of each other. That means that they're not equivalent. That's the simplest way to do this. You can always go the truth table route if you like, but if you know that two statements that are of the form P implies Q are logically equivalent if and only if one's the contrapositive of the other, it's much faster to do it this way.